Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial. I'm in CC 2021. I'm going to show you how to make a button nice and simple and right to the point. Let's get going. You'll see here I've got a button made and I started off with a blank canvas like this and in a few little things we've got a good looking button. Good. All right, the first step if you want to follow along with me is you want to go to File New and you want to select Custom. Now I'm going to go ahead with a 500 by 500 because that's the size button that I'm looking for. But guys, you could totally do whatever size you're looking for. So feel free to enter in whatever width and height makes sense for you. The most important part, in my opinion, to this is the background contents. It is automatically set to white for most people. And you want to go ahead and deselect white and make sure that it goes to transparent. Why would you want that? Because that gives you an alpha channel or a transparency channel so that when you export the button, you don't have to bring in the background color, which would be white in that previous example. Okay, now I'm just zooming in here. This is a 500 by 500 with a transparent background. The next step, you wanna to go to the left side and you wanna find your ellipse tool. Pardon me, you wanna find the rectangle tool. This one works a little better unless you're doing circular buttons. Rectangle tool, and then you're gonna to wanna to basically draw your button. So I'm gonna go from this one to here. So I'm going to go from guide to guide. So it's 400 uh, by, let's go 400 by 100 pixels. That looks fine. You'll notice here that it automatically fills with white. However, if you don't want a white background and you want some other color background for your button, just left click on the fill here, and then you'll basically be able to select a swatch color, or you can double click on this and select your own custom color. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to click on a red button, and boom, we've got a red button. We're on our way. The next step, you want to go up to Window and make sure that there's a check mark beside the Properties panel. And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to use the Properties panel. I have it docked here. But no matter what, go into your Properties panel and we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the roundness of the corners. Now right now, it's got a roundness down here of 10 pixels in the top in all of the different uh, corner radiuses. For this example, I'm going to go with 40 pixels and I'm going to hit Enter. You're going to notice that all of them change, not just the top left. They all changed because right now these are linked together. So all the corner radiuses change together. All right. Now we've got a cool looking thing here. It's getting close. I'm going to left click on the button here again. So we've got the rectangle selected. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding in some small effects to it. So at the bottom left here, you're going to see the FX little button here, the icon. Left click on that. And we're going to go and add in a few things. The first one I want to add is a bevel and emboss. All right. So just like me, it's an emboss. No, okay, that didn't work, but whatever. Hey, you know what? A for effort. I'm going to just change this over here. And you're going to see here that this is a pretty serious emboss. So maybe it's a little bit too much for what we're looking for. So here's your options. Right now, it's set to inner bevel. I'm going to show you outer bevel. That doesn't look too bad, but it's pretty smooth. Um, we're going to go with emboss, which is the one we want, but just to give you a heads up, there are a few different options under bevel and emboss. Right now, the technique doesn't matter too much because this looks pretty good. Now, uh, for this button, I'm going to go with a size of 10 pixels, zero softness, and as you can see here, these are the, uh, uh, these are all the dialed in numbers in case you want to follow along with me and build this exact button. But there you go. We've got the bevel emboss and we're already on our way. I sometimes like to add a stroke, so I'm going to left click on stroke, and you're going to see here that you've got three options, outside, inside, and center stroke. I'm going to go with an outside stroke of, let's go with one pixel, it's very subtle, opacity 50%, okay, cool. The next thing I want to look at down here is a potential drop shadow, however, you will see there is a little bit of a shadow already, so this might not work, but let's take a look anyway, okay. Small drop shadow, 19% opacity. I'm going to jack it up to 20. Ooh, wow, big, big man. Going hard. Let's go to 25%. Multiply distance is 3 pixels, but if you want to make it nice and subtle or bigger, you can go ahead and make it bigger. 3 pixels, spread 22%, size 29 pixels seems like a bit much, so I'm going to drop it down to about 13 pixels. It doesn't have a huge effect, but it has a little bit of an effect. And the final thing is you may want to look at some other options, like maybe throwing on a outer glow. Do you want an outer glow? Probably not. Uh, let's take off the outer glow. I don't think it'll do much work. 
Um, and yeah, let's look at contour actually. You might want to put in a little bit of contour. Left click on the checkbox for contour and it isn't doing a whole hell of a lot for us. So you know what, take it off, no biggie. Either way, we basically have a nice looking button. It's got some depth, it's got a little bit of a shadow, it's got a little bit of a glow on it. So you can de detect that it's not just like a flat button and hit OK and boom, there we go. There's your button. If you want to export it, you can save it as a PSD, which is a, which is a Photoshop document, or you can export it as a PNG, even quick export it as a PNG. And there, you've got a nice new button. We did it in a couple minutes. That's all there is for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.